Welcome back everybody. So in my last video you guys noticed that I had to use my electric pole saw to do a job that I really wanted to use my MS250 uh, for. Well I couldn't get it started. I went through all kinds of different things to figure out why I couldn't get it started. Um, Check the spark plug. It looked a little black so I, had to, I went ahead and replaced it. Put it back in. Nothing. Uh, did a little bit of research and found that the ignition coil might need to be replaced. They're cheap. I went ahead and bought one, replaced it, still nothing. But one of the things that I ran into during that process was on this MS250, this top cover is very difficult to get to the engine block. Well, one of the quickest ways to test for spark is to remove the spark plug, hold it against the engine block, and pull the cord. And you can basically see if you're getting spark. That lets you know either A, uh, if your spark plug is bad, if your ignition coil is bad, or maybe if some of your wiring is bad. But you can't get to this without undoing a lot of stuff. So in that process, I kind of came up with a way to quickly test this, and I wanted to share that with you. So first, we'll start by removing the back cover. And to do that, you have to push this all the way down to full choke turn this knob and this pops right off. The next thing you want to do is remove your air filter so you can easily get to the uh, spark plug and then there's this little black uh, protective piece here that protects the spark plug from the air filter. Here's where your ignition coil connects to your spark plug. Just uh, simply pull that off just like that and then as long as you have one of these little tools, you don't need to go to your uh, toolbox to get anything else. This fits the spark plug. So you just pop that on there and then the spark plug will just turn like that. It'll loosen. You just pull it out. And then now we're about ready to test the spark plug. But to get this plastic off on this particular model, you have to undo a ton of stuff. And that's inconvenient. On the professional models, this whole thing comes off to where you can just get directly to it. They're meant for uh, a lot of work in the field. So this particular one's a homeowner model and they make it a little bit more difficult. You'd think that it would actually be kind of the opposite way or at least they would make them all simple to work with. But what I found is to get to that engine block, this is what I did. I don't know if this is recommended, but this is what I did as a homeowner. It, it was the easiest way to get to it. I simply stuck this back in here to where it's touching the engine block now that it's back in there. I put my spark plug back in here like this and then I was able to touch my spark plug to the actual um, little wrench thing here and by touching it and then pulling on this you can you can determine whether or not you're getting you're getting a spark. And there we go. I'm getting some spark. Now we know the ignition is working, we know the spark plug is working, and you can move on to something else to see if maybe something else is causing your problem. And there you go. That's how you can easily check your spark on an MS250 chainsaw. Hope this helped you out. If it does, give me a thumbs up, give me subs up, and don't forget, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.